Hello, wonderful people. My name is Elvis. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, the topic for today that we, we're going to be talking about today is seven green flags in women. Seven green flags in women. Very beautiful topic. So when it comes to uh, dating, uh, it's almost too easy to list off uh, your deal breakers, turn offs and all around X, you know, maybe you make uh, uh, for the hills are the first sign of mind games. Perhaps you swipe left and right on who wear sunglasses in every single dating app profile pic while some dating deal breakers are a matter of personal preference others are unhealthy toxic and all relationship uh damaging red flags so but what about the good characteristics the green flags green flags are anything that indicate that the person and the relationship dynamics have the potential to be safe enjoyable and healthy and have when it takes to turn into a great partnership beautiful so without further ado these are 16 relation green flags to look out for when dating someone new according uh to my uh research all right okay so number one they make time for you people have busy schedules but it's uh, a green flag if they actually uh curve you know out time in ds to spend one on one moment together if they take the initiative to schedule dates and often are the first to test uh got, uh, i mean call this shows they are invested in getting to know you and building a relationship with you 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 want someone who is willing to put in the time it takes uh uh, to grow a relationship, not just someone who likes the idea of one. You don't want to find yourself getting uh, breadcrumbed uh, by a potential love, interest, or trust. You know what I mean? Yeah. So number two, they are curious about you. So two important signs of curiosity are asking questions uh, and listening. So curiosity can indicate uh, they are interested in you and want to get to know you as a full person, as opposed to being self-absorbed or making assumptions. Uh, so I value you as an individual and want to keep you. That's that's the kind of things that you want. You, you need to see that from the person. The person needs to value you. So number three, they respect your boundaries, right? So whether you are talking about sex, money, time, or anything else, they understand that no means no and not try to talk me into it. Right, you don't want people talking you into stuff. So your boundaries matter to your partner. It's crucial to being able to feel comfortable and let your guard down. Number four, they respect their own boundaries too, their own personal boundaries too. So if someone communicates their uh, boundaries and consistently sticks to them, that's a good sign that they practice self uh, self care in turn when a partner prioritizes taking care of themselves they are better equipped to be present support you and contribute positively to the relationship so basically it's a win win for everyone if uh, you both respect each other's boundaries so it's a good sign when someone shows that they are available and excited about spending time with you in a way but it's also a green flag when you get a sense that they are still honoring what's important to you okay number five so they have goals for themselves so having personal ambitions is important both independently and uh within uh the context of a relationship. So if someone is motivated to pursue their goals and dreams, it could be a sign that they are capable of making both short-term and long-term uh, commitments, some, something that is necessary for any healthy relationships. Okay? Number six, uh, they appreciate your differences. Sometimes people try to project things they desire in a partner onto the person they are dating, which can be damaging to a relationship. But uh, news flash, uh, a potential bill is not a passion project. Everyone has different backgrounds, interests, and personalities. So it's important to be with someone who takes uh, time to get to know what makes you special and celebrate those things instead of trying to change them. Essentially, it's a sign they truly value who you are as you are. So the last point that I'm going to share with you today is they are intentional with your words. So this person you are dating understands the power of words and uses them to encourage uh, or uplift you. 
empower and create intimacy. They don't just think you look amazing today. They tell you so because they understand the importance and impact of sharing those sentiments out loud. And this is not just with you. You see them do it with family, family members, friends, and even strangers. So even, even in times of conflict, they use their words to create a bridge, uh, resolve issues and bring unity rather than insult or denigrate or humiliate others and both uh, partners being able to effectively communicate their feelings in both good times and bad times is important to any successful uh ship point blank period that's what uh, somebody told me ship point uh, blank uh, period all right so I just want you to honor these things and know that I have a lot of green flags from uh, points that I researched, but these are the most important seven green flags that I want you to look out for uh, in a woman when you want in a woman that you want to date or in a partner that you want to date. It's a very essential part of our relationship uh, lives, and it plays a major role. Because you need to be with someone who is able to uh, understand you and understand the things that you like and don't like. You need to have someone who understands boundaries. It's not someone who will just go and not a lady whom will just, you know, leave their phone there and go and pick the partner's phone and just want to go through or scroll through the partner's phone. Or maybe the other partner will be like, oh, my, 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 my boyfriend has got a phone call and I really want to buy somewhere, listen to the conversation or listen to who or get to know whom my partner is talking to. It's a red flag. So these green flags uh, will benefit you if both of you practice respecting each other's boundaries. It, it is very important. Don't, don't be with someone who have like some sort of insecurity because anybody that has insecurity cannot practice these steps. An insecure person cannot do this or cannot practice this. So it is best to be with someone who is so secured and is willing to trust and respect you and know and understand who you are. But in, all, in order for all these things to work, in my other videos, I talked about transparency, respect, confidence, and stuff like that. So please take a time and watch my other videos to give you an overview of everything that we are doing over here. Thank you for staying around. And please, if you're a first timer here, please take a time and subscribe to this YouTube channel as I do have great and wonderful content coming your way. Thank you for staying around and leave your comment under the comment section. Peace, over and out.